dear students how are you all i hope all you are keeping fine i am sukul hamram this video clip is part 1 of computer standard 2 kindly open your book page number 50 today we shall learn chapter 7 that is fun with paint let us read the lesson and learn from it fun with paint paint is a program that helps us draw and color pictures on computer the earlier version of paint was called ms paint ms stands for microsoft steps to open paint follow these steps to open paint step 1 click on the start button step 2 click on all programs step 3 click on accessories step 4 click on paint dear students fun with paint in this chapter we shall learn opening the paint program and saving the work done and tools in paint then opening a saved image and closing paint program so first we shall learn why it is used this paint program is used for draw and color pictures on computer the earlier version of paint program was called ms paint ms full form of ms is microsoft then how to open this paint program to open paint program we have to follow four steps and these steps are step 1 click on the start button then step 2 click on all programs then step 3 is click on accessories and step 4 is click on paint now paint program is already open components of the paint window the paint window consists of the following main parts one title bar the blue bar present at the top of the screen is the title bar it display the program name and the file name two quick access tool bar it contains several buttons to do various task three paint button it contains various options to work in paint four ribbon it has two parts tabs and groups five tab tabs have tools arranged in different groups six group a group is a set of related commands seven drawing area the drawing area is used for making and coloring drawings dear students components of the paint window means the main parts of the paint program what are the main parts of this program and how 
it is useful so first one is title bar so title bar it looks like a blue color and present at the top of the screen and it show the title of the documents or programs then second one is quick access toolbar quick access toolbar it contains several buttons to do various task quickly then three is paint button it contains various options to work in paint program and ribbon it has two parts one is tabs and another one is groups then tab tab have tools and it is arranged in different groups then group a group is a set of related commands or tools and drawing area so drawing area is used making or coloring drawing in where we can draw the picture and we can color it in the area that area is known as drawing area page number 52 tools group this group has the following tools that perform different functions pencil tool it works like a real pencil it is used to draw shapes fill with color tool it is used to fill colors in closed shapes text tool the text tool is used to write text in the drawing eraser tool it is used to erase any part of the drawing magnifier it is used to see any part of the drawing in larger size brushes this tool contains various artistic brushes to draw lines of different thicknesses dear students right side of the following page you see there is, there are some pictures and that picture are group of tools so first one is a pencil tool and this tool is used to draw shapes and it is like a real pencil then next one is fill with color tool it is a tool used to fill the colors in the shapes or in the picture then after that text tool text tool is used to write text in the drawing or in the pictures then eraser tool eraser tool is used to erase the drawings or and or pictures then magnifier magnifier tool is used to see the drawing or to picture larger size to see the 
drawing bigger then brushes this brushes tools contains various brushes to draw lines or different thickness shapes group this group has the following shapes that you can use to draw line rectangle and squares curve round edged rectangle ovals and circles colors group this group offers various colors to be filled in a drawing color 1 is the foreground color color 2 is the background color dear students shapes group this group is consist of different shapes and by using this shapes we can draw line rectangle and squares curve round edged rectangle ovals and circles and shape tool is used to draw the different shapes then colors group this color groups offers us various color to fill in the drawing and there are two types of color one is color 1 and another one is color 2 color 1 is for the foreground color and color 2 is for the background color working with paint tool let us learn to draw and color in ms paint open the paint program to draw and color the picture shown below follow the steps given here step 1 select the triangle shape to draw the top of heart step 2 select the rectangle shape to draw the base of the heart step 3 select line tool to draw window step 4 select the oval shape from the shapes box to draw the sun draw lines with the help of pencil tool use the eraser tool to erase extra lines step 5 select the cloud shape to draw clouds step 6 fill blue color in the cloud and yellow in the sun step 7 select the crayon brush tool with brown color for the tree trunk page number 54 step 8 draw the upper part of the tree by using brush tool step 9 fill green color by using fill with color tool step 10 select the air brush tool and green color spray this color at the lower area to make grass to magnify a part of drawing to view the enlarged part of the drawing we use the magnifier tool Magnifying refers to seeing image in large view. Step 1, click on the magnifier tool. A rectangular box will be displayed on the monitor. Step 2, click on the area that is to be magnified. You can now see the enlarged part of that area on the screen. to return to the normal size picture again follow the step given here step right click at any part of the picture that
the normal size of the picture will appear dear students magnifying magnifying tool is used to see a picture enlarge or to see bigger and how we can use this magnify tool there are two steps to use this tools step 1 is click on the magnify tool and a rectangular box will be displayed on the monitor and then step 2 click on the area that is to be magnified means you click on the picture which part you want to see bigger or to see enlarge on the monitor screen then when you want to return to normal size of the picture again so what you have to click any parts of the picture right click at the any parts of the picture and the normal size of the picture will appear saving the image when you store the image you have designed on the computer it is called saving to save follow the steps given here step 1 click on the paint button a menu will appear step 2 click on the save as option a dialog box will appear step 3 type the name you have selected for your file in the file name box step 4 click on the save button your file will get saved on the computer dear students when we want to save the picture we have to follow four steps in in step one we click on the paint button and a menu will appear then step two click on the save as option and a dialog box will appear then step three type the name you want to save as a name of the picture so you type the name in the file name box then step 4 is click on the save button then the file or image is already saved on the computer opening a new file for drawing when you want to make another drawing you will need a new drawing file or blank page for it to open a new file follow the steps given here step 1 click on the paint button a menu will appear step 2 click on the new option the monitor will display a new file with a blank drawing area on which you can make another drawing opening a new file for drawing so how we can open a new file for new drawing so to open a new, new file we have to follow two steps and these two steps are first click on the paint button and a menu will display then from the step 2 from the menu you select or click in the new option then a new drawing area will be display on the computer and we can draw their new picture page number 56
opening a saved file. You can open an already stored or saved file on your computer. To open a saved file, follow the steps given here. Step 1. Click on the paint button, a menu will appear. Step 2. Click on the open option. Step 3. Click on the file you wish to open. Step 4. Click on the open button. Dear students, when we want to open a saved, already saved file and to open a saved file, we can open it with the four steps and these four steps are first step we click on the paint button then a menu will appear then step 2 from the menu we select open option then step 3 when we click on the open option then in step 3 we click on the file which one we want to open then step 4 click on the open button then the file will be open closing the paint program when you have completed your task you must close it in a proper way to close paint follow this step step 1 click on the paint button step 2 click on the exit option alternatively you can click the close button present on the top right corner of the paint window the paint program will close dear the students when we complete our task or to draw pictures then we want to close the program to close the program we should follow two step and in step one we should click on paint button then a menu will appear and in step two from the appearing menu we click on the exit option then the program will be closed alternatively also we can click on the close button and this close button is present on the top right corner of the paint window